But I hate it when people are so progressive that they like tip the line into being offensive, like when they're just so PC that they ignore things. Like I hate when people say, I don't see color. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> First of all, it's a lie. You can see color. Even if you're colorblind, you can see shades. <laughs> and when someone says that, what I'm hearing is, I choose not to see injustice, or I'd rather not be bothered with the information that some people are treated differently because of the way they look. And that's not helpful to anybody. It'd actually be helpful if you saw color and recognize how differently people are being treated. <laughs> There were these protests in South Africa a few months ago with these university students, and some of the students were white, and some of the students were black. And the students who got beat up and arrested by the cops the most were, of course, the black students. So what the white students did was they put themselves on the perimeter of the protest and used themselves as a human shield, like a Caucasian force field. <laughs> because they knew the cops wouldn't hurt them and they wouldn't break through to hurt anybody else. And it worked. That's the end of the story, it just worked. <laughs> they saw color, created a reverse ho-ho and saved their friends. <laughs> it's beautiful. And that's what I want people to learn. You can use your privilege to help other people. I use my boyfriend's privilege all the time. He's white and very sorry about it. <laughs> and if I ever want a cab late at night, I just send him out into the street. I'm like, babe, put your arm up. And then I go crouch behind a bush. <laughs> And then a cab pulls up, he opens the door, I fly in, I say, black rides matter, we go home. <laughs> it's like, I don't want him to feel bad about his privilege, I want him to get us a cab. <laughs> but he's great, he's really awesome, and is really open to talking about race and things that I wanna talk about, and is just like good about learning stuff. I have been with people who haven't been like that. I was hanging out with a guy who was white, and probably still is, and... <laughs> We were having a conversation and he goes, I want to ask you a question, but it might be a little awkward. Can I touch your hair? And we had been hooking up for a few months at that point, and I didn't realize he had not touched my hair. <laughs> like, I didn't know there was a force field of racial confusion circling around my head. And I was like, yeah, man, it's fine. We're hooking up. You can touch anything on me. And he goes, all right, cool, cool, cool. Well, what about your asshole? <laughs> and that's not where I thought the conversation was going. <laughs> that was a bait and switch. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a nice moment of cultural enlightenment where I talk about my hair and what it's like to be black in America. He just wanted to get in my asshole. I didn't say no, but still. 